Cholera is an infectious disease caused by the Vibro cholerae bacterium. Upon infection, this can result in severe watery diarrhea and eventual dehydration that can lead to fatality. The most common method of transmission is through fecal oral transmission. And this can be done through consuming food or water that is contaminated by the cholera bacteria. This is very common in raw or poorly cooked seafood. It can take between 12 hours and 5 days for symptoms to appear. Common symptoms include diarrhea, increases in heart rate, thirst, low blood pressure, and muscle cramps. So now we will be talking about the mechanism of action of cholera. The toxic subunits of the cholera bacteria are subunit A and subunit B. Upon entry of the bacteria into your system, the B subunit binds to the GM1 receptor found on intestinal epithelial cells. This enables both subunits to enter the cells in a process called endocytosis and creates an endosome. This newly created endosome is then moved to the Golgi apparatus where it is recognized by an endoplasmic reticulum or ER chaperone protein and transported to the ER. In the ER, the A and B subunit undergo an oxidation reaction catalyzed by the enzyme ERO1. This separates the AB complex. The A subunit exits the ER through a channel called SEC61 and binds to the GS alpha subunit of a GS G protein. This causes the activation of the G protein and causes the GS subunit to activate an enzyme called adenocyclase. Adenocyclase then catalyzes the reaction of ATP to cyclic AMP or CAMP and increases the intracellular levels of CAMP. CAMP then activates a protein called protein kinase A. Protein kinase A upon activation then causes an ion channel called cystic fibrosis transmembrane regulator or CFTR to open. The opening of CFTR causes chloride ions to leave the cell and create an extracellular osmotic gradient. This osmotic gradient results in water exiting the cell and results in severe diarrhea. Cholera is most prevalent in countries that lack advanced sanitation and sewage treatment facilities such as developing countries. Cholera is an endemic in 69 countries and puts 1.3 billion people at risk. And of the people infected, it has a fatality rate that ranges from 1 to 5%. According to the CDC, prevention can be achieved in five ways. Number one is just to drink and use safe water. Number two is proper washing of hands with soap and water. Number three is proper food handling. Number four is clean up safely, such as the kitchen and washrooms. And number five is to just speak to your doctor about a vaccination. There are three ways for treating cholera if you are contaminated. Number one is rehydration therapy, and it's very simple, and it's just res restoration of lost fluids and salts. Number two is antibiotics, and it just reduces fluid demand. And according to the CDC, zinc treatment can be effective for children infected.